So. All right, I'll call the meeting to order at 7.30. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Blackstock. Here. Mr. Knotts. Here. Mr. Gonzalez. Here. Mr. Voda. Here. Cram here. Mr. Simons. Here. Mr. Horn is excused. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Knotts, would you leave us in the pledge? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, moving on to approve the agenda um, as presented or look it over. I have nothing to add to it. If there are no additions or deletions, I'll make a motion that we approve the agenda as presented. I'll support. Okay, it's been moved and supported that we approve the agenda as presented. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have the approval of the minutes of August 15, 2016. If there are no additions or deletions uh, for the minutes of August 15, 2016, I'll make a motion we approve. I'll support. It's been moved and supported that we approve the minutes of August 15. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to public comment. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to talk about anything that's not on the agenda? Okay. Township Supervisor Simons, trustees, good evening. My name is Tina Thrift, and I'm the Executive Director of Finance for East China School District. On Tuesday, November 8, 2016, the East China School District is asking voters to approve a 19 mill non-homestead operating millage. This proposal will not impact the taxes on residential property. Only second homes, commercial, and industrial properties are affected. For those who own second homes in this school district or commercial and industrial property, this is not a tax increase as a school district is prevented by law from collecting anything greater than 18 mills. Since the passage of Proposal A in 1994, the non millage has been approved by the voters in the East China School District. The non-homestead millage makes up of approximately $14 million of our $40 million annual budget. And renewal of this non-homestead millage is essential to our operating the state of Michigan will not replace the lost revenue if the district is unable to collect those dollars. If this funding is lost, the district cannot replace it with any other revenue source. While primary households are not affected by this millage, Michigan law requires that a district-wide election is approved. In summary, this is not a new tax. It is a renewal of our current expiring non-homestead operating millage. The non-homestead millage is assessed against businesses and second homes, not primary residential homes. Though this is the case, all East China School District residents may vote on the proposal. This money accounts for one-third of our $40 million annual operating budget. The money is used to operate our everyday expenses, salaries, wages, benefits, those types of items books for the schools. This money cannot be replaced by any other funding source. And to receive full state funding, East China School District is required to levy 18 mills on non-homestead properties. The request for 19 mills is to guard against a reduction resulting from the Headley Amendment. But the law prevents us from collecting anything greater than 18 mills. As those responsible for overseeing the operations of East China Township, I know you understand the negative impact of the loss of revenue to your operations of the township. Therefore, on behalf of the East China School District Board of Education, I'm requesting you as the township board pass a motion this evening, or if it's your practice to consider an issue at one meeting and act upon it in the following one, a motion or resolution at your next meeting supporting the school district's proposal <coughs> to ensure the continued operations of our academic, our arts, 
our athletic programs for the students of East China Township and all the students that attend the East China School District. Question? If you can only assess 18 mills, why are we going after 19 mills to guard against? The Headley rollback. This was the first year that we were subject to it. Um, so by increasing it up to 19, and if we're subject to it a little bit each year, it will still ensure that we can levy the full 18 mills and collect the full amount. So if you had it 18, you couldn't do that? No, each year um, we would be subject to a little bit of headly refraction that would just chip away from it each year. So if we do ask for 19 mills, that's going to guard against any reduction to our millage. Larry, a little 19, the Headley Amendment will be applied against the 19. So it will go down to 18.93, but they can only collect up to 18. If they uh, ask for 18, it would be applied against the 18, and it would be 17.93, oh, okay. and that would be all they could collect. Very well said. Thank you. These are numbers, guy. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't clear why we were going for 19 when... Yeah. But Will there be an additional tax going from the 18 mil to the 19 mil for any homeowners or anything like that? No, this is not subject to any uh, principal resident homeowners. Okay. I just want to let the residents know that also, that it's not going to be the yeah. effect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody else who would like to speak on behalf of the agenda that's not on the agenda? I do think, though, Larry, that what Tino is speaking about, it is very important for our school district because, like you said, that's one-third of the budget that goes there. I mean, we all know how hard it is right now for schools to get money, anything coming from the government or anything coming from the county. Um, so I, I think your biggest obstacle is to make people understand that it's not an increase in a tax because people have been getting taxed a lot. So I think, Tina, your biggest problem is going to be just to make sure people know that there's no additional taxes going for their primary residents. Um, but I feel it's a very important tax that, that, that our, our township should have very, very heavily at. Well, I th do you have a, a sample draft of it, of the resolution? I do not. I was unaware of your protocol. If, you would, if you'd be willing to pass a motion, um, but I can have a copy of the resolution and the draft for you to look at it. Well, in order to get into the minutes, well, we could do a, 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 an oral motion, but, I mean, if you'd want to do a resolution, that's a written motion. Absolutely. I will have it. And we can do it at our next meeting. That's before the election anyways. The 19th is our next meeting, so I could have it on the agenda, and then we could vote on it. Yeah, we should have it on the agenda before you do anything with it. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we place the resolution in support of the East China 19 mill non-resident uh, on our neck, on the, on the agenda of our next meeting. Right, I'll support what, that. That's what I think we should do. Okay, we have a motion to put the... Resolution on the agenda and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We'll put it on the next agenda. Thank you. Moving on to the consent agenda. We have the C1, the July 2016 St. Clair Fire Report, and C2 is the August 2016 Building Department Report. There are no, no other questions. I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, approve the consent agenda as presented. It's been moved and supported that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to disbursements. We have invoices of $785,419.36. We have an uh, accounts payable of $161,917.10. We have a payroll of $22,631.90. We have a payroll direct deposit of $21,005.26. We have an EFT payment of $41,540.25. We have a tax account of $231,330.61 for a total disbursement of 
$844.48. I'll make a motion we pay the disbursements and bills in the amount of $1,263,844.48. I'll support. It's been moved and supported that we pay the bills, the $1,263,844.48. Is there any further discussion? I've got a couple of points. Okay. One, I noticed in there that we wrote 19 separate checks to Blue Tarp Financial. I'm not proposing any change, except I'm just wondering if that's good practice. Should we not now, be just... That Blue Tarp, that's the new lumberjack account. Yes, yeah, but there's 19 separate checks in this mm -hmm. one. Should, is it... I guess I'd say, so we'll look at that. Perhaps that's, right. the, perhaps that's the best way to do it. Uh, if not, would it be easier for our financial people to consolidate payments every couple of weeks or two to once a month or something. But anyway, there's 19 checks that are to the same place. Uh, the other one I wanted to ask you about, I'm trying to find on there, the, oh there, I noticed that we paid uh, $747,000 on the uh, RBCs. RBCs. I was just wondering what portion of the cost is that all of it? No, no, it's 1.7 million. Yeah, I thought it was a lot. Yeah, this is the first payment on it. This is the first payment on and it. And when we get down to that, I'll report on what we got on that. Oh, I could report right now if you want. No, um, I just, I, and then has the 450, have, have we've taken the $450,000 then out of the water fund? Uh, we're taking it out of the fund. 850 that we set aside and She's got it. We closed out the uh, the 460 account that we had. It doesn't show it on you. She asked me to mention this. If you want to get into this now, I'll do it right now. Um, we had some money left in that 465 that we borrowed from Seaway right. on phase one of the sewer project. So she wanted to use that up. And Stuart Bovey and Whipple said to go ahead and make that as part of the first payment okay. to close that account out. And then the rest we got out of the 495. Um, it's in your... On page 16, 17 of your... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that. And here's the adjustments that she's made. She just got this from Stuart Bovey and Whipple. And here's the bill. Um, and what's where the the money came out of what accounts. So, okay. I mean, this was stuff was all approved. I, I, I didn't have to bring this to the board, but I wanted mm -hmm. to bring it to the board to let them know that we're expending that money. <laughs> That's a, a large sum of money. I guess I'll have to talk to her because I, I don't recognize the account numbers. What I'm concerned about is have, have we now then removed the $450,000 that we authorized to take out of the sewer fund or is there still some in that account that yet, yet to come out? And I, I'll ask, I'll, I'll just ask her. Yeah, that. she'll explain. What, she's yeah. got it broke down here what, what she took it out of. I just don't recognize the calendar. Replacement fund projects cost uh, the, okay. the 14, a 514, 527 account. 371,000 out of that. Well, I understand they're in there and two of, three of them are unworking. And as far as the RBCs are concerned, we have three of them in. There's five total. Uh, they got three in, and um, I, I believe yesterday was the 21st day. They have to put the three in and then let them run for three weeks to get the, the bugs growing on them and so that we, we can take the other two out of service. Mm -hmm. So um, the three are running and they, they're acceptable. Um, I think it's Thursday or Friday they're taking the other two out of service. The two new ones, ones are there. Yeah, I saw a new one sitting over there. Yeah, the there are two new ones. There. All the five are there. Three are in, two are sitting in the yard. They're going to pull the other two out and put the other two new ones in, and then they'll have to do a 21-day run on those two. You know how long it will take them to install the second two? Is it, have they got everything ready to install them? Just, I believe it is. Yeah, they're going to put just going them to drop. In. All they got to drop yeah. them in. Good. They got the. They did all the footings and all that stuff. You know, for the gearboxes and the, the electricals all done. The MCC boards in. Um, I had Chuck this morning. He said they're moving right along on it now. So. Great. Great. That's good to hear. Thank just you. real quick, yeah. Mr. Nelson, this order. is just the invoices. These aren't individual checks that got written to the blue tarp people. It's just the list of invoices. She's not going to write an individual check for each one of those invoices in this packet. 
Okay. Because they go to lumberjacks quite. Right. She's just every entering in each invoice, and then she'll, you know, write a check, and it'll probably take two or three. To okay. Fill well, that answers my question. These right. are, these do not represent individual right. checks. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Because I I had looked through the packet and I thought I missed what he's talking about, so I had to look again to see. And Ralph, um, on that the sewer replacement allocation thing, right above those things where it's written, it says open. It says remainder of the sewer replacement allocation account, 371,000. So it looks like there's only 371,000 remaining in that sewer replacement allocation account. Do you see up right above it where it's written? Mm -hmm. So they must have taken 80,000 out at some well, other Well, Well, earlier we had taken out that, remember the initial 96 or something like that that was engineering? That Correct. came out of that account. Okay. So he must have, she must have cleaned it out then, that's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like she says there, the remainder of the 460 account and the remainder of the sewer replacement allocation. Okay, and I And the see cap that. project, it says, so. Okay. Okay. worry about what we're going to do with the sewer problem. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to pay the bills in a second. Is there any further discussion on paying the bills? If not, roll call, please. Mr. Boda. Yes. Mr. Pitsalis. Yes. Mr. Natz. Yes. Mr. Blackstock. Yes. Cram, yes. Mr. Simons. Yes. Motion carries. We pay the bills. All right. Moving on to new business, the flu shots. We tabled that at the last meeting. Um, I think the board wanted to know about how many we did. Um, it's in your packet. I believe it was 74 last year. Yep. Uh, 2013, it was 100. 2014, 66. 66, and then 74 this year. So, um, I think it's a good program because I mean it, it fills in that gap from retired people that can't get that. That's a good service to our to our residents. Yeah. So. I'll make a motion. If we need if we need a motion, we should. That's what a, I think we need a motion now. I'll make that. a motion that we support the flu shot clinic at uh, River District Hospital for night for uh, 2016. I support. It's been moved and supported that we uh, continue the flu shot clinic. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor. Well, let's have a roll call. Mr. Blackstack. Yes. Mr. Nats. Yes. Mr. Pitsalis. Yes. Mr. Boda. Yes. Cram. Yes. Mr. Simons. Yes. Motion carries, and also in that, I got it today that the flu shots will be uh, September the 30th from 8 to 12 in meeting rooms 1 and 2 at the hospital. September 30th? What time did you say? I'm sorry. September 30th from 8 to 12 in the meeting room. Meeting rooms 1 and 2. They'll direct you when you go into the hospital. You go in the front door, you'll see it. Okay. Okay. All right, next we're moving on to new business uh, two. It's Point Drive Recore Road lift station. This is the main lift station we have down where the old sewer plant was. It actually, uh, when they moved the sewer plant, it sends the sewage down to the plant down here on Recore Road. Um, they were put in, that lift station was redone, uh, Blaine thinks it was about 13 years ago. Nothing has been done to these pumps. If these pumps were to fail, we would have to really hustle to get the sewage because it, that's the whole south end from Recor Road south. All that sewage comes through that lift station. So they're both working right now. He would like to have them taken, take one out at a time and have them inspected and rebuilt. I mean, they, they're not going to last forever. Um, I had Blaine and Chuck in the office this morning talking about these. Um, we've used all three of these contractors. And it, as you see the bids, it's hard for these guys to um, come up with an exact price because they don't know what they're going to get into until they pump, pull the pump out and, and take it in and uh, look at it. So if you kind of read through those estimates, um, you'll see where, uh, you know, some of them charge so much to pull it out and put it in, and I mean, it's a lot of money. I looked them over. I kind of like that jet. That seems to be the... Which one does, does Blaine have a recommendation? Um, no. He says, we've worked with all of them. I guess it would come down to the money. 
and it's hard to, but that Kennedy pump, they are actually the dealer for that type of pump. So they're a little more expensive than the other ones. The other ones are like contractors and they buy the parts from, I think they have to buy some of the parts from Kennedy. Yeah, I do it though. I just want, could be from four to 12, five. Well that and they want more to, for the field work, which is taking them out and putting them back than everybody right. else. They want like $1,950 for right. that. Well, I can't find one, but whatever. You need to look at for it like that. Now, these are the hydrodynamics. That was, I mean, they're talking <laughs> four to twelve thousand dollars. They don't know. They're just send us, send us the pump. We'll tell you how much. Well, going to charge twelve hundred dollars yeah. to take a look at the pump. Right. Well, they need a new impeller. It's going to cost a lot more than either one of these. And you won't know that until they take it apart. According to Blaine, he said uh, a rough estimate. If we had to replace the whole pump, it would be around twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, and these are big pumps. These are the biggest pumps we have. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm on board with them to, uh, I think they should be inspected. And oh, so yeah. we don't want to get into a situation because they're both the same age. And what those pumps do is they only need one and they alternate every other day. Mm -hmm. And um, so they both show the same wear on them. They should. Would, would our engineers have any input in this at all? Larry, once they take I a look at it or nothing at all? No, I don't think we would need any input. These guys are the specialists. Okay. I mean, it's just a repair. I just, oh. I, I just feel that if they're going to look at it, they're going to find something wrong. We're going to pay Well, something. I'm sure they're going to find something. Yeah. There's going to be they're, they're wear on be, it yeah. after 13 years. You know, there's wear rings in there. I'm sure they're right. going to, you know, bearings have to be looked at. I mean, uh, these are submersible pumps. So there's a, there's a sealed oil unit down there in the bottom. You know, if one of the seals is leaking, the oil could be milky in there and, uh, you know, cause Check future on. failure down the, down yeah. the road. Check is there, should they find anything, and they will find a few things, would it be better for the company that, you know, handles that kind of a pump to take care of it? Or will, could Jet repair anything that, that they find. According to Blaine, any one of these three companies can do the job. Oh, okay, well, in that case, it's a jet. Okay. Well, I'd recommend, I would, I would go with the jet. Mainly because the, uh, the cost of repair is going to be about the same. I just think uh, Kennedy is taking advantage of us a little bit in the pulling out and putting it back. But this is my only reason. That's what I looked at. <laughs> I mean, it's it jumps out at you. Yeah. The difference in one guy wants nine hundred bucks to do it, the other guy wants nineteen. And it's just that you know we won't know until they get it out and get it in their shop uh, what the exact price is going to be. I mean, yeah, the they might get it down there and say it's junk. You got to yeah, have that. Yeah, I'd go say that we do have that option if they right. if they They'll open be, it up and they they need a propeller and a shaft. You know, all of a sudden we just might as well get another pump. Right. Right. But we don't know that because they're submersible. They're down. Yeah, you got to open you them gotta, up to find out. You got to go and pull them. Um, Chuck seemed to think we should pull them every year just to check the oil in, but nobody's done anything with these pumps for 13 years. Yeah, not that I have since I've been around. So, so would you make that a motion then, uh, Ralph, that we do jet? Huh? <laughs> if nobody, if nobody else has got the alternatives, yeah, I'll make a motion that we. Uh, uh, contract with jet pump and valve to uh, pull repair and replace uh, one of the pumps at the main lift station uh, with a cost estimate uh, for the total job of four of uh, four thousand one hundred twenty five dollars and sixty one cents knowing that once the pump is expected there could be additional charges is he awesome. proposing two of these both of these pumps yeah we want to do them both so it'd be so double be that. Like 80. Do you want to do them? Do you want to do it one at a time, or do you want? Well, to? what seems to what uh, Blaine said is better is if we You're get a little better price. If they're pulling the one when they put the other one back in and they're all set up, they pull it out. We might get a little better deal on pulling that second one out. Or worse. <laughs> or worse. Yeah, I, I, I have no objections. Do you want to, uh, so that we do both pumps one at a time? Same language. And each one of them not to exceed the, or 
to be around 41 dollars yeah, You can't say a not to exceed. You just say with a, with a price estimate of $4,125.61 each, each. Yeah. with not acknowledging that there may be additional charges when the pumps are, are uh, disassembled and inspected. Got all that there? Yeah. Who's is Mr. Boda supporting? Mr. Yeah, I think Mr. Boda supported and Mr. Uh, Knotts. Larry, below it says freight and tax not included. There'd be no freight charge for that, would there? Because they're taking it in. I think they come and pick it up themselves. Right. They, yeah, I don't think so the, that's probably in the pulling, I would think. Uh, that's okay. That's what I would think. It's in the pulling and everything. Yeah, yeah they come So the down. tax isn't included, but there should be no freight for it. Yeah, they come down, pick it up, and drag it off to wherever they're going to work. It's only over to Waterford. Yeah, that's where it's going to go, yeah. They'll just take it over by truck. And, and uh, to add to that, Ralph, we have se I had Corinne look it up. We have 77000 in that sewer fund. Um, right at this time, it's on the plus side. Yeah. If we had to, that's probably where we'll fund that from. So, you know, there a couple of letter they have for the state that uh, also these prices do not include a new impeller if the existing is worn. Right. Should a new impeller be required along with the overall, the price will increase. Right. So we know that going in. So, okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? No, when you. This will, this will come out of East China sewer fund, not the, not the right. sewer and water These sewer. are not the shared. Okay. This is and not the shared. Um, these are just East China. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Mr. Boda. Yes. Mr. Patsalis. Yes. Mr. Knotts. Yes. Mr. Blackstock. Yes. Cram, yes. Mr. Simons. Yes. Motion carries. We get the bumps repaired. All right, next we have the M29 speed study request. Um, this was dropped off by um, some residents, and their names are on that if you see it. Um, and I think what they're asking, I didn't talk to any of them, um, I think they're just asking for our support. You As know, I read this thing, they're talking about... By the state park. Down by the state, state park. park. Right. Well, I don't understand why they this. Right. But they want to get the same thing from uh, Mr. DeSnyder's here from the uh, at the area, too. Uh, I think they are talking about from the city limits to the little grocery or something like that. Would that be where they want to get a no-passing zone? Okay. Because, I mean, the other thing they talk about here is a state park, and that's, that's I mean, that's six, seven miles away. I know that, but they want to get the same thing. Well, I understand here. that, but have a petition that says that. Right. Well, they're just asking for our support, and I just thought I'd bring it to the board and see if we do we do you want me to pursue this. I guess is what I'm looking. Well, there was quite an article on Time Herald uh, was it Sunday about speed limits being outdated for years. They haven't been updated or outdated, and they're outdated most of them. So, might not hurt to have it looked at. Well, I would not be in favor of any changes to the 20, M29 speed limits within the boundaries of East China. Most of the time, this because the, the states were in checks along the county, and, and most of the majority of the time, they don't change it. They just it's, you know, there it's 50, 55, and 40 in the, within East China. And those are appropriate. I, I agree that probably from the park where everybody's been walking, walk, probably ought to be 35. <coughs> I thought, it, frankly, I thought it was 35 in front of the park. So, Larry, you're saying, the, the, what do they want to continue this to? <coughs> I, 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 I believe what they're talking about is they would like to get a no passing zone is what I talked to them about a while ago on. Because here where it says, here are the items that MDOT will further investigate. The possibility of extending the no passing area further south to the front of the park. Request a rumble strip. This is the all paint. talking about the state park down by right. Roberts Landing. Well, I think that's what we have to act on. I it's doubt before that, us. but I doubt I think we got a lot of All right, I can do, let me do some more checking. I'll get a hold of the Bill Musial and... Jim Barry and um, I'd have a doubt they'd put rumble strips in on the, on the shoulder because that just tears the heck out of a plow. Oh. Rumble strips. You know, put those big but that's what they're there. requesting down there. Yeah, you're right. They didn't really spell out, but um, he I wish him the best of luck. Yeah. He He's got to, it at the top. He, he wants, wants to, to do this in front of his, his house. house. This is Bill Musial talking, I believe. Well, I'll call Bill, and then uh, I'll get more at the next meeting. How's that? Fine. 
Yeah. So we're going to table that? Yeah, make a motion to table. I'll make a motion that we table the M29 speed study request until we get some further information. Support. All right, it's been moved in support of that. We table this M29 speed request. Um, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We need to table it. Next, we have new business number four, the St. Clair County Road Commission match money schedule. Um, this is something I've been working on with Mike Zobelitz. Um, when we did the road tour, I think it was Mr. Horn and myself did it this, this spring. Uh, we looked at these roads. Last year, we did the Urban Drive, Francis, um, Pleasant, Rosemary, that stuff on the south end. So we really looked at the stuff on the north end. We know that Hathaway, these roads all have to be touching. So that's why we kind of put this list together. We went through and uh, Mike Zobelitz and I rode up there. We categorized them, you know, one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, we're trying to get to our, um, the county will match 50,000. So we have to get to $100,000 worth of paving. So we, we, we decided we'd do Hathaway from River Road to St. Clair Highway, Catherine Street, um, the full length of that, Margaret, and Delaware. Now, Delaware, there's the, the west end of Delaware is not paved. It's still stone. I tried to get uh, Mr. Weston to pave that stone down there, but that's a whole different type of asphalt you have to put in, and it's just a, a small piece. So I think that's something, if we decide to do that, we're going to have to do that on our own. Um, and then St. Clair Shores Boulevard. Now, that would be on the, um, on the east side of M29. Everybody knows where St. Clair Shores Boulevard. And then those... I think there's four stub streets that come out there. They're uh, St. Clair Place, Tasmo, Riviera, et cetera. Yeah, so when, you, when you're talking about those, you're talking about the stub streets on the east side of 29. On the east side of 29. Okay. They're running from the St. Clair Shores Boulevard to 29. 29. 29. Correct. Little short streets. So that would get all that stuff, and that is really bad on that St. Clair Shores Boulevard on the north end up there. It is just. If you go up there, you'll see it's just almost solid tar. We filled all the cracks. But it seems to be uh, working really well down here that they did Urban Drive and uh, Francis Street and all those. They, they put about three-quarters of an inch uh, of uh, alignment on top of that. So that's what we came up with. So I'm asking the board. I have to turn this in by the end of September uh, like to see plan. if we can get it okay. It, it all gets rated. Um, you know, by the county has a rating system on how they yeah. tell who's going to get that money. So there's so a good chance we would get it. This is for next year? This is for 2017. Okay. And of uh, this uh, $102,115, this is an estimate. Um, they would, we would get 50000 of that from the county. Yeah. So in our budget, we would have to budget in, you know, at least uh, 50, 53000 probably. Looks like that. a plan. So, so What's that? The, it looks like a good plan. I, well, I mean, I this, where can you get two for one? I mean, yep. to always, me, I think we should always got to spend. We should be money. capitalizing on it. We have every year. This township has done that. That's why our uh, roads are in good shape because we've been using fifty percent of the county's money as much as we can. Right. I mean, we're still putting our money into it, but it's uh, we're getting twice the stuff for our money with that match money. Like uh, Springborn Road, they paid up to a hundred thousand on new construction. But in East China, we're down to, we have Range Road that's not paved. Um, that's the section up there. There's only, I think, one house on it. Um, we have a little bit here on uh, Recor Road um, from the sewer plant out to the city, the township limits. No houses on that. Um, but I think in 2018, we should be looking at redoing this Recor Road from at least 29 and maybe at that time, if we decide to go to the township limits, we could do that. But uh, that's getting pretty bad, and that gets a lot of traffic from the park. So that's what we've got on our list for uh, 2018, one of them uh, that we would redo. So what I'm asking is that we, you authorize me to 
pursue this with the county to pave these streets, resurface them. Is it? It's the same process then as, as urban. Same, same it's a thing. Three quarter yep. inch code. Yep, and they if they have to do a little wedging, they do a little wedging, you know, to level it out if it's real bad. Right. I'll make a motion that you approach the county regarding these projects. Support. Okay, it's been moved and supported that we apply to the St. Clair County Road Commission for the local road funding for these roads that we mentioned, Hathaway, Catherine, Margaret, Delaware, St. Clair Shores, and the Stubbs. Is there any further discussion? Question. Here, yep. I don't know really they have the totals or they have things that so sign agent flaggers. What is, and they have MOP. What is MOP? Where are you at? Mobile, mobilization, probably. Yeah, that signage costs a lot of money. Yeah, I don't was, know what the. I'm wondering about the MOP, it will be. Yeah, so I, I think know. it's mobilization. I think so. More than likely. <laughs> Eugenio, he has got to get his a cut, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says Bob right on there. Okay, is that all we have? Yeah. Any other questions? No. If not, then roll call, please. Mr. Knotts. Yes. Mr. Blackstone. Yes. Mr. Pizzales. Yes. Mr. Boda. Yes. Cram, yes. Mr. Simon. Yes. Motion carries. We apply to the county. All right, next we have uh, Ordinance 315. Um, this is that, um, this is that drone. And Ralph, what we found out is it's 400 feet. If oh, you, we can't, we, we can. Uh, well, it, she did a lot of research on this and that. Um, so we if you see it, it was in the paper there too the other day about the commercial drones, they were really. Yeah. They have a 500-foot limit, I think. This is a, uh, so we, we, can, we can require them to stay 400 feet above, even if the guy's standing outside the park planet. Right. Good. Because so. they said if uh, Amazon wants to use those for delivery, they got to maintain yeah. uh, at least a 400-foot height, no right. lower. Yeah, I spread that in that article. So, I, I mean, this is, I'll read the ordinance. It's Ordinance 315, East China Charter Township, St. Clair County, Michigan, an ordinance to amend the Code of Ordinances, Chapter 343, Parks, Section 3, Prohibits and Restrictions. The Charter Township of East China ordains Section 1 purpose. The purpose of this ordinance is to amend the Code of Ordinances, Part 2, General Legislation, Chapter 343, Parks, Section 3, Prohibits and Restricts, by adding Paragraph 1 to prohibit drones and unmanned aircraft used at any township administered property, including public parks. Uh, section 2 Amendment, the Code of Ordinance, Chapter 343, Section 3, Prohibits and Restricts, is amended by adding the following. Drones and unmanned aircraft. No person shall launch, land, or operate unmanned aircraft at any township administered property, including public parks, less than 400 feet above the ground level. Drones and unmanned aircraft are not permitted to interfere with the enjoyment of the land being used at the at these areas. Servability. The provisions of this ordinance are hereby declared to be servable. If any clause, sentence, paragraph, rule, regulation, section, or subsection is declared void and inoperable for any reason by any court, it shall not affect the other parts of therefore other than the part declared void and inoperable. Section repealed ordains in conflict where hairs are hereby re repealed. This ordinance shall become effective upon publication after adoption. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the revisions to ordinance 315. We're just reading it, right? It's first reading. It's just it's first, first reading. That's right, too. Yeah, first, first reading. First reading. Okay. We'll have the second reading at the next meeting. So that's the first reading. Okay, moving on to resolution 6 2016 adopt. St. Clair County has migration mitigation plan. Um, this is something that the county is wanting us to do. Um, I 
I guess I'll read that one for you too. Um, resolution 6, 2016, adoption of the St. Clair County Hazardous Mitigation Plan, Charter Township of East China County of St. Clair, Michigan. Minutes of the regular meeting of the Township Board of the Charter Township of East China County of St. Clair, Michigan, held in the Township Hall on the 6th day of September 2016 at 7.30 p.m. Whereas East China Township recognizes the threat that natural, social, and technological hazards posed to people and to people and the community and whereas the mission of East China Township includes the charge to protect and health safety and general welfare of the people of East China Township. Whereas undertaking a hazardous mitigation action will reduce the potential harm to people and property from future hazardous occurrences. And whereas St. Clair County with the assistance of the HAZ mitigation Plan Steering Committee, comprised of representatives from county, municipalities, and stakeholders, organization has prepared a recommended hazardous mitigation plan that reviews the options to protect people and reduce damage from these hazards. Whereas East China has participated in the planning process for the development of this plan, providing information specific to local hazardous priorities and encouraging public participation. Whereas on May 21st, 2015, St. Clair County Board of Commissioners adopted the St. Clair County Health Hazard Mitigation Plan as a committee of the whole as an official document of the St. Clair, a document of the county pursuant to the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000 and associated regulations. Whereas on July 15th, the federal management Management Agency, FEMA, officially approved the St. Clair County Hazard Mitigation Plan, making the county and its participating communities eligible for disaster mitigation funding. Oh, that's serious. Whereas adopting hazardous mitigation plan is required as a condition of future funding for the multiple FEMA pre- and post-disastrous mitigation grant program. Whereas the plan is widely uh, circulated for review by the county's resident, municipal office, state, federal, and local agencies has been revised to reflect their concerns. Now, there, now therefore, be it resolved by the East China Township Board that the St. Clair County Hazardous Mitigation Plan is our here be adopted as the official plan of the East China Charter Township. And I guess we need a second to that, right? Support. Okay, it's been moved and supported. Resolution 6 2016. Is there any further questions? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, resolutions adopted. All right, next we have um, announcements. Um, we'd like to have everybody come to the township picnic on September the 17th. Uh, I believe it's from 11 to 2. And, uh, be hot dogs, chicken, games. It's a good time. Uh, we need more people to come out to it. We had probably about 100 last year. It's free. And it's free. Yeah, that's the big thing. It's free. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. Lots for of kids. food that's free. For kids and, and everything. There's stuff for kids yeah. to do. Stuff for and kids. Music. Yeah, bring your kids. Yeah. And it's a good thing. Um, I guess that's all I have under announcements. Uh, moving on to member comments. Mr. Pasales. I don't have anything this evening, Larry. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Bowler? Uh, nothing this evening. Thank you. Scram? No, I'm good. Nothing, thanks. Mr. Knotts. Nothing. Oh, wow. You guys are going to make me look bad Whoa. again. I got <laughs> Of course you do, Larry. Uh, so we save it for you. Yeah. Uh, something that's coming up is um, we've got a lot of infiltration in our sewer system. Uh, Blaine, you know, the board authorized us to do that Hathaway Street up there. Um, we haven't got it done yet, but Blaine's... We found two more places that we have a lot of infiltration. One is on Loretta Street. And being the river is up so high, I went over and looked at it the other day, and there's a lot of infiltration in that manhole. So he would like to get 
There's three manholes on Loretta. You'd like to get them rebuilt. And then there's, I think there's three or four on Meisner Road from the, the township limits back to our lift station. The one in the school front yard is really bad. I mean, when it rains hard, it, there's a lake and the, the manhole's right down. But we've done a lot of work on it already, but he'd like to get those done. And it's that same company. Um, so I'm going to be bringing it at the next meeting. But the total package for those three roads is about $76,000. Um, we have that money set aside in the money that we set aside in our budget to do that sewer work. So uh, I'm recommending we do it, but I'll be bringing that up at the next uh, meeting. Um, another thing, we got we to gotta take a tree down in the cemetery. I got a couple of bids. Do you want me to bring that to the board? I mean, it, it, to open those bids? If so, I'll bring it the next meeting. I, I, I'm anticipating it's it's less than a thousand dollars, but for less than a thousand dollars, I'd recommend that you go ahead and yeah and take care of it and, and let us and, and inform us when it's done. Okay, that's kind of what I thought we should do with something like that. It's not a very big, right. so um, we'll be doing that. And uh, I just like to say thanks to all of our employees. Everybody's been really working hard. I mean, we're, we're getting our new employees are starting to get qualified now in the sewer plant. So that's going to take a lot of the burden off of our regulars that's been pulling overtime for the last three months to cover all the weekends. Um, also down at the water plant today, the, the chlorine line that, that goes out to the intake for the zebra mussels, it's broke. We had to rent a big excavator, dug a hole about the size of this room and, uh, and they came up with a solution working with the DEQ. Now we're going to abandon that. It's only a little inch and a half line. We're going to abandon it and put a, uh, a uh, chlorine station right out at the edge of the river to chlorinate the intake. Um, it'll save us a lot of money doing that. So I thought that was a good, I good idea from our employees. They worked, you know, to figure that all out. So with that, that's all I have. I guess the motion to adjourn would be in order. We'll make a motion. We adjourn at uh, eight seventeen. Support. It's been moved and supported that we adjourn at eight seventeen. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. We're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>